Okay, so I get a lot of emails from people uh, asking me how certain websites achieve such smooth animations and just basically how to achieve really smooth type of animations and how to do things like elastic type of effects or bouncing type of effects. And I'm going to be showing you a free extension that you can download for Flash that will allow you to create some really great smooth um, animations. And it's called the Custom Easing Tool. And the first thing you need to do to use any type of extension is to download the Macromedia Extension Manager. And this is the URL. If you go to www.macromedia.com slash exchange slash em underscore download, it will take you to the download page. And it's available for both Mac and Windows. And this is the tool that installs extensions not only for Flash but also for other Macromedia programs like Dreamweaver. So the first thing you want to do if you don't already have it is to download Extension Manager and install it. And then we're going to go over and I'm going to show you where you can download this custom easing tool. Okay, so here we are on the website where we can download this custom easing tool. And the URL is laco, that's L-A-C-O dot W-Z dot C-Z slash tween. And that takes you to the download page. And this is also the site that you'll want to come to uh, if you want to get more into this tool and also using some of these, uh, the tween manager class that he has uh, on this website. But for our purposes, we're just going to go down to the download section. And here is the downloads for the extensions. So generally, I'll just pick the newest one. So that's version 1.2.0. And it's an .mxp file, which is what the extension manager is expecting. So if I click on that link, you can see I'm just going to click OK, and it's going to open it with extension manager. And this comes up. Uh, you just click accept. And it's telling me that I already have this installed, but I'm just going to reinstall it over it. And it's about a 17K download, I believe. So it installed the extension and it's telling me that it's been successfully been installed. So you want to do this with Flash closed because uh, if you didn't you'd have to probably close Flash and then open it up again in order to see uh, the tool in the menu. Okay so that's how you install it. Now let's jump over to Flash and I'll show you how to use this tool to create some really great smooth animations. Okay, here we are inside of Flash now, and I've just created a new document, and I've renamed that first layer to Box. So first thing I'm going to do is set up a very typical scenario. I'm just going to grab the rectangle tool and just have a black stroke and a little bit of a gradient fill. I'm just going to drag out a rectangle like this. So this is, I'm going to turn this into a movie clip, and then we're going to animate it using the custom easing tool. So I'm just going to double click it hit F8, choose movie clip and call it box. Okay so let's just say this is maybe an interface panel in your movie or something. Very typical scenario would be uh, you would want to scale that up so I can go to let's say 35 insert a keyframe go back to that first keyframe and right click on it go to free transform and holding the shift key down to constrain the proportions, I'm just going to drag it down really small like that. Again, very typical thing that you might want to do in Flash. And again, I'm just going to right click anywhere in here and click Create Motion Tween. So now if I go back to the beginning, come out and hit Enter. So that's pretty much the most basic thing you can do in Flash, is just scaling up a box like this. So uh, if you've noticed, Flash does have some easing uh, controls built in. So if I highlight anywhere in this motion tween and come down, I have this easing box with this little slider. And this works pretty well into uh, helping you to achieve more real world type motion. So if I bump that up to 100, basically it's going to start out going really fast and come to kind of more of a gradual stop like a real world object would. So now if I hit enter you can see it's a little bit smoother, it's a little bit more convincing in real world. And again if I come down and I drag that down to negative 100 and go back to the beginning 
it's basically going to start out slow and then speed up. So generally, uh, if you're just using motion tweens, this was the best or the most smooth animation that you could achieve. And if you wanted to say uh, scale this box up and give it kind of like an elastic effect, you would have to do that manually normally by coming up here and adding more keyframes and scaling it up a little bit more. And uh, it's definitely possible, and a lot of people do do it that way. But with this tool, it makes all of that uh, piece of cake. So to change this into a different animation using this extension, you just want to drag it back uh, and highlight the first keyframe of your motion tween. Then go to the window menu, go under other panels, and then you'll see down here there's a new entry called custom easing tool. And when you click on that, it opens up this new panel. So let me quickly show you around uh, this tool. So first it comes with all of these presets built in for different types of easing animations. And there's ones in here for elastic, there's one uh, some in here for bounces, and generally uh, I usually am fine just using the presets. There's usually at least one preset in here that's exactly what I'm looking for. So the tool starts out with this uh, linear line here and you can preview it if you click preview you see this red bar is moving across that's representing uh, the motion of your animation so right now we don't have anything set so it's just a straight linear animation at a constant speed if we wanted to we can go in here and start dragging these points and curves around to create our own uh, custom easing animation and you can see what happens when I preview it so now it goes up comes down and comes up really quick. So again, um, if you want to, you can come in here and drag your own curves and you can add segments to it. So I can add six segments to it and then uh, drag these curves all over the place and get some really crazy uh, animations. But generally, there's always something in the, pre in the presets that will work for you. So let's say we want this box to scale in and kind of have a little elastic effect. I'm going to come down to ease out elastic. When I click on the preset, I see the graph has changed. And now if I preview the easing, you can see it's a nice elastic effect. So anything, any curve that's above here, it's going to scale it up past what I had on that last keyframe. So it's going to kind of bounce in in an elastic way. So let me play that one more time. You can see this kind of elasticity. Okay, so now I have a, a type of motion that I like. Now, I just need to make sure I have that first keyframe of the motion tween selected. And then click on Generate Keyframes. So there's two options to doing things in this tool. If you're an animator or a designer and you generally tend to want to avoid action script uh, for the most part and use motion tweens, then you want to click Generate Keyframes. And what it's going to do is going to come in here and remove the motion tween and put in a keyframe at every frame uh, that mirrors this type of animation. If you're a developer and you want to use ActionScript, then you can click Generate Easing Object and it generates the necessary ActionScript uh, to achieve that animation. And this is using the Tween Manager uh, class uh, that's also downloaded as, as a part of this tool. And if you want to do this aspect of it, uh, you can look more on that website for how to do that. But I'm going to be showing the simple way for animators and designers to get that. So if I click Generate Keyframes, you can see now it's removed the motion tween and it's put in basically a frame by frame animation. So let me close this and let me go back to the beginning and let's take a look at it. So you can see a very smooth kind of classic elastic box effect. And I know for me that I used to do that manually using motion tweens and would be fiddling around trying to get exactly the right type of elasticity, whereas this is uh, math based and uh, it's kind of really smooth and nice looking. So I want to undo this and get back to my motion tween. Uh, to do that, when you hit Control Z, you'll notice. 
when I hit Control Z to undo, you see I'm gonna have to do that for each of the keyframes, or you can just hold it down. So I'm getting rid of that, and now I'm back to my motion tween. So let's try a different one. If I go to other panels, custom easing tool. Let's say I want this to kind of bounce in. I can click ease out bounce. You can see the type of movement here. It's going to scale up to its full size and then go back down a little bit, scale to full size, go back down a little bit less than that last time to kind of give it a bouncing effect. So if I click preview, you can see it's a bouncing effect. And this could be good if you're animating a ball bouncing on the floor or something like that. So again, you want to have that first keyframe of your motion tween selected and then click generate keyframes. And now uh, it's generated that movement. So let me go back to the first keyframe and let's test this. So you can see it's kind of a nice bounce in effect. One thing to note though is that once you do this, as you can see, your motion tween is gone. So uh, it's a lot less editable now. So that's one thing uh, that you might want to be aware of. But uh, it's just a great tool for achieving really, really smooth animations. And uh, let me get back to my motion tween. Come on. Okay, well, I'm just throw another motion tween in here. Okay, so I kind of showed you some special effects, you know, kind of this bounce and this elastic in type of thing. Um, but you can also use it just for regular, uh, regular type of easing. So let's see, something, uh, something like this, and it's much uh, better looking than using that uh, tween or that easing slider that I showed you. So even if you just want to do a regular type of tween with easing, uh, it's better to use this tool and you'll get much smoother results. You can see here, it's just a lot smoother. So this is a really valuable tool and a huge time saver if you're trying to do uh, really smooth and uh, slick looking animations. So I hope you enjoyed this.